Yeah, terrible trash. And this is from, uh, of course, the, the, uh, the race was postponed from Sunday to today. And we take you to the last uh, little bit of this race now as we go right here. Hamlin went door to door with Ryan Blaney uh, for the finish. Ryan Newman took a wild ride along the track. He crashed while holding on to the lead. Newman's car flipped several times, just engulfed in flames across the finish line on its roof. Newman's condition not immediately known as safety workers rolled his car back onto its wheels before he was removed. Newman taken uh, by ambulance to a hospital there. It was the second closest race in history, but of course the winner and the runner up pretty subdued by that accident. Number one, we, we, we're, we're praying for Ryan. Um, uh, works really well with Ryan through the through this whole race, and um, you know, obviously, he, he got turned right there, but um, Just got bumpers hooked up wrong and, and turned him. I hope he's all right. Um, it looked pretty bad, so uh, definitely was trying to push him, push him to a win, and. Um, just, I hate, I don't want to say those things happen. I, I feel really bad about it. It's just, uh, man, but um, it's a close one. But you know, I hope I hope Ryan's all right. Hey, Amy, it's almost hard to find the words that look like a fiery crash scene out of an action movie. And then that miracle escape this morning. Romain Grosjean is recovering in the hospital and he's crediting a relatively new device. One he admits he used to be against with saving his life. This morning, Formula One driver Romain Grosjean is lucky to be alive, escaping this unbelievable and horrifying crash. The French driver's car slamming into a metal barrier during the first lap of the Bahrain Grand Prix, splitting in half and bursting into flames. The fact that Romain Grosjean has survived that crash is not only miraculous, but quite frankly, marvelous as well. The 34-year-old amazingly able to escape, managing to free himself from the wreckage and stumble to safety. Climbing over a metal barrier, crews dousing him with fire extinguishers before he was airlifted to the hospital. Just hours later, speaking out from his hospital bed. Hello, everyone. Um, just wanted to say I am okay. Uh, well, sort of okay. Grosjean thanking medical staff and crediting the halo safety device on his car with saving his life. Grosjean was in that burning inferno of a wreck for about 10 to 15 seconds. Amazingly suffered no broken bones, but some burns and minor injuries. Guys talk about lucky. Yeah. That mistake by Andre Lewandowski now giving the advantage to Dean Stoneman as they come into La Source on the outside line there. That is Sebastian Balthazar trying to get up around the outside of Max Wearing, but he runs out of road. And Kevin Gelardoni does his switchback move again. Look in the background and gets up alongside Raul Gutzman. And alongside both of them, he's onto the Chicotto with this carnage because they all managed to meet in the middle. And a big, big impact. Jonathan Chicotto's car bounces off the barrier. It's going to be another safety car. Might even be a stoppage because that has done bad, bad damage to the barrier. Chicotto's car bouncing into the air. Whether or not they have all managed to come to grief, I can't see. In the background, there's though. no, there's no marked car there, but there's not, neither is there any yellow flags no. out. There's a blue flag there, and there's the tiniest of touches, but no yellow flags at the top of the mountain as they go through. The yellow flag's being grabbed after the incident that's going on in front of the marshal's post at the top. And so, where's Tyler coming through that? Then, wow, what a big hit! Yes, so Shaheen here in the garage, just uh, looking at your brother. Uh, pretty evil images up at the top of the hill, your thoughts? Not pleasant, but he's walking and that's all that matters. So how much gear have you got in terms of uh, support materials? Here? Well, we'll get the other side of this one with the Lamborghini driver, Cameron McConville, tucked away in here at the moment. Can, can you talk us through what happened to McPhillamy? Yeah, look, I feel sorry for Sam. He's a great guy. I honestly did not mean to touch him. I went to go under at the grade. I had my flashes on and he turned across, so I got out of it, didn't want to make contact. Then we came out of Skyline, and as I went to pull left to pass him, he just hit the brake. So at first I thought, why are you brake testing me there, you know? 
but I went to go right, he went right, so as I pulled left, he just touched the brakes, and unfortunately I just collected the back of him, but absolutely feel terrible for those guys. I feel sick in the stomach. I didn't mean to touch him. It was just that little dab of the brakes as I went left that just collected the right rear of him. So, yeah, I sincerely hope he's OK. Uh, as the sorry sight of a marked car's uh, seeing bits of the car we're not really wanting to see, the good thing about that is that that is a purpose-built racing car for the tube frame. So, coming over the top, the first contact is the lightest of contact that you heard Cameron Conville there talking about. That sends the Bend Motorsport Park GT3 into the wall, the AMG. Then it's carnage going on behind. What it's difficult to see is the rest of the cars going through the gap because of the dust cloud. But all of the spectators know that there's something going on. And in that dust cloud, we think three cars at least. There's the BMW going through and got through the incident. And then there's a couple of other cars that come through, which includes Tyler Everingham. There's no dust in the back. Yeah, oh, they, but there there's is. the BMW and the, and the Mark car coming through. And, so, and they were behind it. And then Everingham comes on the, on the scene and he's collected, he's collected the Mercedes AMG that as it's bounced out yep. from driver's right. Yep, I'd agree with that. Okay. Um, and it's caused massive, massive damage to that Mark car and it launched itself up onto the fence. So this is Tyler jumping out of the car. We didn't see this shot initially. During Turns it off. As it played out, yeah. Turns it off, does exactly the right thing. And then he extricates himself from the left-hand side of the car and he's winded. Yeah, well, the, the, the real problem is it's his side of the car that's taken the pounding. Now, here's Sam Shaheen being helped out by Dirk Muller. The 19 car has pulled up and stopped. That wasn't a part of the accident, but he would have seen the ferocity of the impact, the secondary impact between yeah. the Mark cars and the already stranded uh, Mercedes-Benz AMG, and he's, he's stopped the car and got out.